All right, good evening, basketball fans. We are at the Hangar and Mountain home. This is Hometown TV's Game of the Week. This is the Ultimate Ford Classics Boys, Senior Boys, excuse me, Senior Boys Championship Game. The Mountain Home Bombers defeated yesterday the Springdale Bulldogs, which on most consensus is around, around this arena, as well as uh, some of the uh, people who know thought that the Springdale Bulldogs would have defeated the Mountain Home Bombers, but the Mountain Home Bombers were able to defeat them last night to advance to the championship game where they'll take on the Benton squad. The Mountain Home Bombers with that big win, it helped though that Springdale went six for 20 from the free throw line and coming down the stretch, it was the Mountain Home Bombers able to hit those free throws to advance to this game. Now we're moments away as we get the introductions of the starting lineups. Earlier this evening, the game before this saw the Greenwood Lady Bulldogs win the Ultimate Ford Classic in the Senior Girls Contest. We're gonna go to the public address announcer here as they introduce the starting lineups. It'll first be for the Benton Panthers. Now don't forget this week's Hometown TV's Game of the Week. We'll be here back in Mountain Home on Monday We'll be here for the Harrison Goblins and Mountain Home Ball Game. We'll have both senior boys contest and a senior girls contest. And then the following week, next weekend, we will be at North Arkansas College's Pioneer Pavilion as it's the 38th Annual Senior Boys Invitational. It'll be the semis and the finals. That'll be a Friday, Saturday of next well, week. Well, here we are with the public address announcer, and we'll let him take over as we introduce the starting lineups for the Benton Panthers. We have the Benton Panthers headed up by Chris Hall and Dwayne Fishburne. And our own Mountain Home Bombers headed up by Mitch Husky, Jonathan Bullock, and Robin Keegan and Grant Greenhall. Now for the starting lineups. First for the Panthers from Benton. Starting at guard. Five for the eight senior, number one, Nate Griffin. Number one, Nate Griffin. Starting guard, 515 inch junior, number 11, Ricky Gibson. Number 11, Ricky Gibson. Trolling the paint, 6 foot 9 inch junior, number 34, Graham Gardner. This guy's 6 foot 9, he's a junior, number 34, Graham Gardner. Starting forward, 6 foot 3 inch junior, number 32, Zach Stuckey. A junior also, number 32, Zach. Stucky. Starting at forward, six foot four inch sophomore, number 33. And a Josh sophomore, boy, they Foley. start underclassmen on this squad, and they're here in the championship game. Number 33, Josh now Bowling. Let's get on our feet. And, and now the introduction for the home team at the hangar, the Mountain Home Bombers, coached by Coach Starting Husky. Five foot nine, junior, number 22, Buck Gilbert. Number 22. Buck Gilbert, he had a big game two nights ago, both on the Starting offense and forward, defensive side. Inch, also 44, the big guy in the middle, Jack number 44, Schmidt. Jack Schmidt. Got a little foul trouble the other night, but let me tell you what, he stepped up big again last night as the Springdale Bulldogs were a quality Starting basketball forward, team and a big win senior. for these Mountain Home Bombers. Number one, Billy. Number one, Way the senior, Billy Waitmeyer. And the last two guys on the bench, the guys who are going to be Starting the leading scorers most likely, as right now we're going to talk about it, will be number 24, Robert Morgan, had a big, big night in their win on the opening night, Tuesday night. And then the guy who came through, their pure shooter, the University of Arkansas baseball signee himself, the man with the fastball that can throw it about 90 miles an hour, number 21, Trey Killian. We're moments away from the tip. The same officiating crew that we saw here Monday night is here this evening. And so this ought to be an interesting night. Mark Fultz there teed up both games that we did last Monday night. Uh, we still didn't get some clarification on what had happened in one of the conversations. The other one we did see what had happened and it was, uh, it was obvious. But uh, the first one, the second one, was, uh, was a little bit interesting to see what was said in the girls game. Well, the players are gonna shake hands. Wishing each other good luck, and we're going to throw the ball up, and we're going to have a little fun. There we go. Step up in the circle. There's up. It's in. And Benton, the Panthers are going to control the basketball. Griffin's got it up on top. Over to Stuckey. 
There's a shot by number 34, Graham Gardner, rebounded there by the smallest guy on the floor, Buck Gilbert and Mountain Homes on the run. There's Trey Killian. We're gonna have a foul, gonna be a block. Foul's gonna be on Benton's number one, Nate Griffin. That's gonna be his first, team's first. Number one for the Panthers. Nate Griffin, his first, team's first. Mountain Homes gonna throw it in under their own basket. They set the play. Benton looks like they're in a man-to-man. -man. They're trying to get into Jack Schmidt. Morgan threw it in and he was able to recover. There's a steal by Benton. Ducky, and he's got it. Spin move, puts it up, and the basket's good. As Benton opens the scoring to take a 2-0 lead here in the first 30 seconds of the ball game. Benton's in a full court pressure. Mountain home crosses half court. Trey Killian's got it. Pump fakes up back to Gilbert. Going to set the offense here. Not home in the championship game of their own tournament. They played well these last two nights. Looks like there it is with Schmidt. Nice little 12-footer. He misses it. Follows the shot, though. Kind of knocks it out of bounds. It's going to be Benton's basketball. Got to like the hustle there. That was a nice little play cleared out for Jack Schmidt at the free throw line. Little 12-footer. Unfortunately, come up.